Hey up everyone! So today's movie I'm discussing on the channel is the latest film from writer-director Alex Garland, the chap who gave his movies such as Ex Machina, Annihilation, and more recently Men. His latest film, Civil War, is probably his most ambitious project to date. This is a harrowing satire about the tumultuous state of the political division across the United States of America, as well as a loving ode to the risk, the power, and necessity of war journalists. While this is fictional and satire, what's truly scary about Civil War is just how soberly realistic the scenario actually seems. There's nothing all that far-fetched about the premise. The sad truth is, this is an America that's all too easy to imagine. While the trailer might make this look like an exaggerated what-if scenario, the way that Alex Garland tells the story with such grounded realism and with the techniques that you would see more akin to a docudrama series than an action movie just makes it feel so plausible. There were shots in the beginning of the film where I legit couldn't tell if it was real life stock footage that Alex Garland repurposed or if it was footage that he shot himself. Okay, the social commentary of this film cuts deep. I left this film feeling impacted by it and I'm not even American. When it comes to the plot, Alex Garland is actually quite sparing with the exposition as to what actually caused the Civil War. But what we do know is that Texas and California have secessioned away from the United States and now these Western forces rebels are advancing on Washington DC to try and assassinate the president who's played in this film by Nick Offerman. And we follow four war journalists played by Kirsten Dunst, Wagner Moura, Stephen McKinley Henderson and Kaylee Spaney as they embark on a journey to the capital to document the historic event. But yeah, this film is told from the point of view of the journalists, particularly Jesse, who's played by Kaylee Spaney. She's a young aspiring but naive war photographer who discovers she gets in way over her head after she tags along with this crew. But in many ways, Jessie is like a stand-in for the audience because she's witnessing the harsh and harrowing imagery of what it's like being on the front lines for the first time as are we. All at once it's both terrifying and exhilarating for Jessie, highlighting the life-threatening risk that war journalists take, but also the addictive rush that a person can get from being so close to danger. You feel most alive when you're so close to death. It's an excellent performance from Kaylee Spaney. It's a performance of incredible empathy. Like you really do feel everything that she's feeling throughout the film. But everyone in this gives a good performance. The four journalists that we follow all have a nice dynamic. They all bring something different to the team. Kirsten Dunst is great as the battle-worn photographer Lee Miller, who has become so numb to all the horrors that she's witnessed firsthand. Like she's all business, like super serious, but there are little moments where the humanity comes through in like a smile or something, and it's very powerful. And Kirsten Dunst's real life husband, Jesse Plemons, stops by for a scene stealing part. In fact, he might have stolen the whole movie. He doesn't have a whole lot of screen time. Jesse Plemons has this very unique ability to play characters who get under my skin, whether it's Judas and the Black Messiah, Breaking Bad, Black Mirror, and now this. The man just terrifies me. He was incredible. Okay, so besides the performances, what else did I like? Well, as a director, I think Alex Garland used his budget very effectively. Civil War is apparently the most expensive A24 movie to date, with a reported budget of $75 million. To put that into context, the next most expensive A24 movie is Bo is Afraid with $35 million. So yeah, more than double that. But what I really love about Garland's films is that he really likes to create a lived-in world, and he really prioritizes practicality over CGI. Like, there is CGI in this film, particularly in the last third of the film with the attack on Washington, but I appreciate that Garland will only use CGI when it's absolutely necessary. If he can do it for real, he'll do it. Which is why in this day and age, when it's so much easier to create a highway littered with burnt out cars, you know, on a green screen or a soundstage, this film does it for real. Like, you can tell the difference, okay, when the car is weaving in and out of all these burnt up, discarded cars, okay? It feels authentic and real. It just adds this tangible quality that no amount of computer graphics can recreate, at least not yet anyways. There's also a scene where they repurpose derelict stadium that acts as a sort of makeshift shanty town. And you can tell it was shot for real with loads of tents, hundreds of extras, done for real. Could have been done on a computer, he did it for real. I respect that. You can see how scorched and damaged this place is. Again, 
It just makes the world feel lived in. It makes it feel more real. When it comes to Garland's writing, there's nothing subtle about what he's trying to say about America, but he's not trying to be subtle. This film's message comes at you with wrecking ball force, and I know not everybody's gonna like it. My issue is that he is trying to say a lot, and not all the topics that he brushes upon are explored in much detail. I think he does bite off a little bit more than he can chew. Like there's a scene where they drive through this town where all the inhabitants are basically living with their heads in the sand, okay? They're choosing to ignore the news and just get on with the day, just pretend like everything's normal. This whole scene has something to say, but because it's just one scene, it's not really explored in very much depth. And there's this other scene where they meet these two soldiers who are trying to kill a shooter who's shooting at them, and the soldiers don't actually know who it is they're trying to kill. And this whole scene is sort of like a commentary on how Americans don't know what side they're on, okay? They don't know why they're fighting. Again, the scene does have something to say, but it's all very surface level. It's like the film is a series of vignettes stitched together by a road trip narrative, but there are several instances in this where there are significant tonal jumps from scene to scene, so it can feel quite tonally sporadic. So while individually the scenes are interesting, when you put them all together as a collective whole, it does feel a little bit uneven and messy. Do I think it has any Oscars chances? Uh, I don't see Civil War going the distance all the way to the 2025 Oscars, but I do think it would be worthy of some acknowledgement in a few categories, particularly production design. I was very impressed with the scale of some of these sets and how well dressed they were, how they were littered with scorched cars and helicopters and rubble. Well done to the production design team. Also, the sound in this was incredible. I don't know if jump scare is the right word, but there were several times while I was watching this where I really got a jolt of fright, you know, from ra random gunfire or explosions. Like, it felt like you were in a war zone. So for that level of immersion through the sound, I would give it a nomination. Also visual effects. Like I've said before on the channel, the best visual effects are the ones where you don't even notice that it's CGI. And because there is an emphasis on practicality and the visual effects are used sparingly, they blend into the film seamlessly. And I know it's not gonna happen, but I would love to see Jesse Plemons like do a Judy Dench, like show up for six minutes of screen time and you know get an Oscar nomination for it. Not gonna happen, but yeah, he was so good in this. Like I said, he it felt like he stole the movie. So let's ask them three questions. Firstly, would I watch this again? Yeah, I would. Although I do think I would need to be in the right mood to watch this movie, but yeah, I could see myself watching this again. Question two, do I recommend it for you guys? Ooh, who do I recommend this film for? That's the thing, I know it's bound to be polarizing because it is provocative. It's a film that's made intentionally to provoke a reaction. I'm trying to think of some films I can compare it to, but honestly, Civil War feels closer to the likes of a documentary like 20 Days in Marupol than it does a satirical popcorn flick like The Purge or The Hunt. This film feels very close to home and it's very effective. I mean, when you think about it, the plot isn't all that different from Hunger Games Mockingjay. Like you've got the rebels advancing on the capital, they're documenting it to try and take down the tyrannical leader. That's a sci-fi dystopian film, whereas this feels like true to real life. Out of all of Alex Garland's previous films, the one I'd say it's closest to is actually 28 Days Later, uh, even though I know it's a Danny Boyle directed film, but Alex Garland wrote the screenplay for it. But yeah, they are similar because they're both road trip movies which take place during a uprising of sorts. They're both big in scale, but it's also very intimate because it's a character study more than anything. Everybody in this gives a good performance, it's beautifully shot, and the message does sink in. So if it sounds interesting to you, yeah, do go check it out. Uh, seeing it in a cinema definitely was a plus for me, particularly in the action-packed finale of the film. And third question, what score to give out of 10? Civil War might be a hypothetical look at a potential America, but it does feel all too real. It's a film that's saying a lot, perhaps too much because there are times where it did feel a bit messy, but the film did have an impact on me, okay? It stirred me, it rattled me, it made me feel anxious as I watched it. I thought it was very poignant and thought provoking. So I'm going to give Civil War a score of seven out of 10. But as always guys, it's just one bloke's opinion. I would love to hear from you. What did you make of Civil War? What you have to say, let me know in the comment section down below. If you have enjoyed this video, help me out by hitting the little thumbs up button. It really helps the algorithm. If you want more movie, TV, and Oscars related content, don't forget to click subscribe. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. For more things related to movies, TV, the Oscars, and popcorn culture, I'm Luke Carefield, and I'll see you next time.